Hi everyone, Greg here. It's time to run you through your first test print using the 3D printer. Exciting times. Within the main menu, select the build icon. Insert the memory stick into the front USB port. The build menu should show two options, local and USB. Select the USB device option. Now navigate to the test files folder and select the tools changing station.gx file. Now plan B, if the USB memory stick is not in the toolbox, then the previous school might have lost it or kept it. If so, select the local option. Navigate to and select the filter PLA.gx file using the arrow key. Now select build. This test print will take approximately an hour to complete. Watch the start of the print to make sure your leveling process was done correctly and the filament is bonding to the print bed. This is important. If you can't see what's going on, you can turn on the light in the printer by pressing the ellipsis. That's the three dots on the menu and selecting the light globe icon. You should see a line of filament about a one millimeter wide being laid onto the print bed and sticking to it. If you see no filament on the print bed, then firstly check that you loaded the filament correctly and that it was coming out as shown in the previous video. Second option, recalibrate or level the print bed and try starting your test print again. If you are still experiencing difficulty, go and check out one of the previous videos in this series where we explore this in more detail. If it looks like the printer is printing, your test print will be. Watch it for a while, but then you're gonna get bored and then wait for it to complete. Once complete, it's time to remove your test print. Warning, the print bed will be hot when the print build is finished. So wait a few minutes for everything to cool down. Gently remove the flexible print bed by grabbing the blue handles. Remove the whole print bed with your 3D print from the printer. And then gently bend the flexible print bed so that a curve forms under your 3D print. You should hear a small crack as the 3D print lets go from the flexible print bed. At this point, it has either completely come off or you can simply grab your 3D print and gently pry it away from the print bed. Some larger 3D prints may require using the supplied scraper. Remove carefully any excess filament that is still on the flexible print bed using the scraper. Carefully replace the flexible print bed back into the printer following the instructions. This was covered in an earlier video. Then it's time to simply admire your first 3D print. Congratulations. There are lots more support resources in the stem.t for all library and on our YouTube channel. We'd love to hear how you and your students are using this kit. So join the conversation with other teachers like you in the Facebook group or on the Yammer community. Just search for stem.t4l.